Dollar one, vintage problem guy. Happy Firearm Friday, and welcome to System Test number thirty-eight with the Simplex four thousand four Firearm Control Panel. So let's get started with devices. For the first initiating device on the system, we have a I have a new pulsation in my collection. This is a Auto Call forty fifty zero zero one T. Same thing as the Federal Signal Thorn or the Commercial Products Group. 405001T. For the first notification appliance, I have my Amsico BC54VT with the SL3 strobe, formerly known as the Amsico motor horn. So you'll be seeing this going off in action for the system test. For my smoke detector, I just have the Ansel SLG24F. Yeah. I know a lot of you guys have seen a lot of this detector, but Hey, I'm, you know, it's a, it's a really nice detector, so it's probably one of my favorites, so, yep. So anyway, that is the smoke detector on the system. Over here by the door entranceway, I have my Thorn B5, same thing as like the FCI or the Kita B5, this one I have is just branded by Thorn. And then for the final and last device, I have a custom-made remote strobe that I made. This is a custom-made we lock WMT remote strobe, so you'll also be seeing this going off in action for the system test today. All right, so that was pretty much an overview of the devices. As you can see, it's nothing really too special. I just kind of have some, some of these are, like I think the only two common brands I have on the system, it's pretty much only the Simplex and the we lock device, but there, everything else is not really common brands and you'll see too much in buildings like, for example, Thorn, Ansel, Amsico and Auto Call. These brands you don't really see too much in buildings too much. Um, I think it's because they don't really sell. I mean, I mean they do sell, but I don't think probably not that great like any other brands like Simplex or Wheelock or Siemens or anything. You know, anything related to these brands or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty much an overview of the devices. And now we can go on to the fun part. The activation of the fire alarm system, starting off with the auto call 405001T, and the system will be on code 3. So, if you have epilepsy, do not watch this. All right, so as you see, we got audible silence. So, yep. All right, so now we can go ahead and reset the auto call pole. Yep, just like that. This is a spring loaded pole, so it'll just pop back up automatically. So, just open it up a little bit and then it'll pop back up. So, all right, so since the pole's been reset, we can now do a system reset. Like I said, just give it a few seconds to reset, so it should reset and boom, just like that. All right, so that was pretty much the auto call pull, and now we can go on and activate the smoke detector on the system, and the system will be set to march time. So I'll be right back. All right, system is now set to march time. And now we can go ahead and activate the smoke detector. So anyway, here it goes.
tell you what, this thing does not sound too healthy to be honest, so <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, this horn show up definitely needs surgery to be honest, so yeah. So that's the thing with these motor horns, they don't really sound that great. Apparently this one actually sounds quite alright. It sounds kind of like a regular electromechanical horn on fully rectified current. And you know this panel does output filter DC, it still sounds really raspy. Because they you know one's a motor horn, so. And if you put this on FWR power, it's going to sound the same, so nothing special. But Alright, so that was pretty much the smoke detector, and now we can go ahead and activate the last pulse station on the system. And that is the Thor B5, and the system will be on continuous, so I'll be right back. Alright, the system is now on continuous, so now we can go ahead and activate the last pulse station on the system, the Thor B5. Here it goes. I think it's pretty loud to be honest but yeah <laughs> tell you what those electromechanical horns are pretty loud to be honest so you have to so all right here we go so we're setting this with one hand come on you all right all right now i might have to finish resetting this off camera so i'll be right back all right pull station has been reset so while I was re re resetting this off camera, sorry, the system went back to alarm. So, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why that happened, but I don't know. That's really strange. But all right, so we can do a, a final system reset. Go in a few seconds here, and uh, bam, just like that. So. I really like how this panel actually resets. It's pretty cool to be honest. So, yeah. All right. So that pretty much wraps up for System Test 38. Yep. Amsco motor horn. Yeah. I know they don't really sound that great, but yeah. I guess this is how it is. So, yep. So <clears throat> maybe before I end this off, I'll explain how I actually made um, this wheel ox show over here. Um, how reason how I made this wheel ox show? I got. Originally a Wheelox EH E01 service on a horn strobe, but the horn was dead. So I just took the strobe off because the strobe still worked. I got a Wheelox WS plate that had a federal signal valve strobe on top of it. I don't know why, but I decided I want to use this plate and the strobe together. And then the terminal screws, if you all remember my Wheelox 7001, the one I convert, that was a 7001T, which I converted to a 7001. The terminals I actually have are actually on this alarm, so yeah. That's how I pretty much actually made this remote strobe, so looks pretty cool. It looks stock and all, so but yeah. So I guess you could actually say it's like my first custom uh, fire alarm or something like that, so yeah. But I guess that's how it is, you know. I think a custom alarm is pretty cool, so yeah. But yeah, so anyway, that pretty much wraps up for this video. If you all like this video, don't forget to like this video, drop a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next week for the next Final Art Friday. So, have a great day, everyone.